Hello student. So in previous video we have discussed what is DMA. Okay, we have tried to understood what is DMA. So in this uh, uh, tutorial uh, we will try to discuss how DMA transfer will take place or okay how DMA uh, transfer operation will be performed. So uh, if we start the discussion then uh, first of all uh, CPU will communicate with DMA using address bus and data bus. Okay, so this will be the first step. So you can say it will uh, initialize them now uh, in next step the cpu will start the uh, transmission using address bus and data bus meanwhile uh, all these buses will be disconnected from the uh, you can say cpu will be uh, uh, this ram and io will be disconnected uh, from this bus and cpu will uh, cpu and dma will communicate now uh, next step uh, cpu will initialize uh, address and uh, data bus okay so it will uh, initialize the dma uh, using address bus and data bus so see cpu will provide the address from which location data is to be transferred or uh, if the data is to be uh, received from the input device then on which address it should be stored then word count uh, register and then control register so all this detail will cpu uh, send to dma uh, via address bus and data bus so after uh, sending the data via address bus and data bus cpu will uh, enable the bus grant okay so as soon as dma controller will receive the bus grant okay so dma controller will have idea that now uh, it can perform the operation so after enabling the bus grant okay uh, cpu will disconnect uh, it will be disconnected from the buses now what will happen after getting the uh, bus uh, control of the bus so dma controller will start the uh, read write operation okay it will start the uh, read write operation dma controller will start read write operation now here uh, we have to uh, remember that whenever the value of bus grant is zero okay then communication will be between cpu and dma okay read write operation whatever operation will be performed it will be between cpu and dma and whenever value of this bus grant will be one okay at that time this communication will be uh, missed whatever read write operation is to be performed it will be between dma ram and io device okay so this is how it will uh, take place so after initializing and after getting the control uh, dma will start the uh, operation now whatever address is to be used let's assume that uh, we are transferring data uh, from uh, let's say io to memory io device to memory so uh, dma will send uh, the request to io device okay and io device will acknowledge to the dma after acknowledging uh, io device will put word into the data bus okay io device will put word into the data bus and uh, then uh, from data bus it will be transferred to the ram okay at that time here uh, this uh, you can say write command will be used okay write command means uh, this data will be written into the ram in reverse case if uh, let's say uh, we want to transfer data from memory to any other io device okay at that time uh, ram will put data into the data bus then it will be received by the io device okay and then uh, this read control will be enabled so whenever read control read operation read control will be enabled it will uh, ram will place uh, read the data and it will place data into the uh, data bus and then uh, from there it will be transferred to the io device okay clear with this so uh, this is how uh, it this operation will be performed now you can see whenever the value of bus grant is one cpu uh, will uh, it will be out of the picture the communication it will be between uh, dma uh, ram and io device okay word by word so uh, what uh, dma controller will do first of all there will be uh, 
address register then again word count register and then control register okay so control register will specify the direction of operation okay means io to memory or it is uh, memory to io okay so it will specify read write operation then word count it will specify the amount of memories to be transferred so how many words are to be transferred uh, from io device to memory or from memory to io device but after each transfer this word count will be decremented by one okay and it will be checked whether it is zero or not okay so if it is zero then it will stop the operation and if it is not zero then it will again uh, start with the next cycle okay so it will again uh, uh, let's say it will uh, increment the address register by one and whatever new address will be there it will place that address into this address bus and then it will be uh, data will be transferred or read or write so then uh, next cycle will be over then again it will uh, increment the register or decrement the word count by one and uh, then again it will transfer the um, memory or data okay so after each operation or after each cycle this address register will be incremented and where uh, when word count is decremented by one okay and if it is zero then uh, a DMA controller will stop this operation okay and then it will uh, inform the CPU by interrupt okay so by interrupt it will send request or it will generate the interrupt request to CPU and then whatever data is available inside the RAM okay that it will be processed by the CPU so whenever the uh, uh, CPU will receive the interrupt request what it will do it will convert this bus grant from 1 to 0 okay and uh, then again cpu will take the control of bus and then uh, communication will be between cpu and ram the normal operation which we are doing right now uh, which we have done till now okay so then uh, dma controller and io device will be out of the picture so then cpu can uh, process this data uh, in high speed so this is how uh, dma operation will be performed okay so uh, in many places uh, there are the many useful applications of dma <laughs> okay so it can be used for uh, uh, faster data transfer between let's say uh, hard disk and ram okay so if you want to transfer data uh, between hard, di hard disk drive and ram then dma can be useful or uh, it, it can be also useful in updating the display in interactive terminal let's say we, uh, this is connected this ram is connected to the iod uh, let's say monitor by a dma okay then cpu will uh, update this and then it will inform the dma so the new data will be displayed to the uh, monitor it will be sent to the monitor and updated screen will be displayed okay so in this kind of application uh, we can use the dma so uh, this is how uh, dma transfer will work so in this tutorial we will give up to this in next tutorial we will discuss what is input output processor okay thank you